Hello there, and I know it has been a while, but hello guys, and welcome ah, to an official new episode of the Redhead Boy podcast with me, Harry. I know it's been a while, guys. I apologise for that. This is what I'm going to call the first episode of Series 3. As I say, I know I haven't been around for a while, and this episode is not really going to be a very long episode, not an official one, but I thought I'd jump on and just say, hello, I'm still alive, (laughs) just about, and welcome back to the podcast. Now, I know I'm a real bugger at starting something and then dropping off the face of the earth. So I apologise to my local and loyal listeners that would listen to the show every week before I disappeared into the black abyss. (laughs) I am determined with this that I'm going to be more... that the show is going to develop into... Not just film and TV related and not creative guests. It's just going to develop into the show that I want it to be. I will still have guests on, which would be great to talk about their creativity or to talk about any subject subject at all. Um, I'm also, I'm, I'm thinking about talking about an array of different things, including... Therapy, happiness, movies, TV, maybe a bit of political stuff. Sky's the limit, really. So there is not, there is like, I would say it's like a fluid plan for the Redhead Boy podcast from now on. And I'm just going to make it relaxed. Also, I'm not particularly sure if there's going to be a episode every week, but maybe like a few each month, so I don't get burnt out by it. Also, uh, at the moment, I'm very busy with work. Um, so, yes. So I think a few episodes each month sounds like a plan to me. And I hope you guys come and join me on that ride On this glorious podcast. Of course you can listen to this podcast. Anywhere. Where you listen to your local podcasts. And. Yeah I just want to say thanks. And welcome to series three. Of the podcast. The Redhead Boy podcast. Uh, (laughs) I feel like I've said, said the title. Probably about 20 times already. But it's good to be back. It's good to be back. I've missed doing it, to be honest. I've missed doing it. I have. I really have. Um, I've got some exciting stuff going on at the moment. Writing a few things, which I'm hoping to produce. Uh, A film, a potential play. Uh, Got some potential freelance work, maybe, fingers crossed. Um, Also, potentially moving into my first... House, which is exciting, super excited about that. So, yeah, this podcast is just going to be chilled. It won't be boxed into film or TV anymore. So, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. And I tell you what, I'm looking forward to after this week of a long week of work. It's been a long week, I'm tired. I'm sitting here on my sofa, trying not to fall asleep right now. (laughs) So if I sound less enthusiastic than usual, I am sorry. (laughs) I'm trying. (laughs) Um, But I'm super looking forward to Sunday. I'm going out with my mate Bowles and my mate Charlotte. And we're going to see the new The Batman, directed, directed by Matthew Reeves. And... Starring Robert Patterson. Super excited about it. Can't wait to see what 
this new interpretation of the Dark Knight will be. So I'm going to end this short episode with a little clip from the new Batman. And until next time, you guys take it easy. Mr. Wayne, you know, you really could be doing more for this city. Your family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. If I'm elected, I want to change that. I'm gonna go pay my respects. Will you wait for me? I'm gonna continue this. Excuse me, Chief. I'm gonna talk to you. Gil Colson is missing. What? He hasn't been heard from since last night. Christ, not again. Hey, Mr. Wayne. You got people looking for him, Jim? Sent a couple guys to his house, nothing. What does his wife say? She hadn't heard from him. Experience it in IMAX, only in theaters March 4th.